Good afternoon. Haven't vlogged much today because I've been feeling kind of puny, um, pukey, puny, whatever. And um, <laughs> but we've had a we've had a good day. Cause I got a baby in my tummy. Hazel said, "That's right." And um, yeah, but we we had a pretty good day. We uh, went and got the oil changed, and my mom came with me, so we got to have lunch together and uh, just hang out. We went to. Target and I got some maternity shorts. Yeah. We didn't get any bubble gum. Remember, <laughs> what was your treat that you got? No, think again. Remember, you spilled it on the floor. Oh, we spilled some goldfish. Goldfish, yeah. We spilled about a third of the package on the floor. Now, here it is in Princess Goldfish. Yeah. Um, and um, so yeah, it's now we're home and we're getting supper ready. I'm making kind of a Mediterranean-like salad. And my mom's making spaghetti, and so that's why we have some Sinatra-like music going on, just getting the feel. And the... hey, show everybody your apron that you brought. I was gonna that. put this on you, but you already had that one. Oh, I'm gonna. I'll put that one on. These are. The... She brought that home from Italy. Yes. Yeah, you put so this on. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna she, change my apron. And she brought chocolate from Italy. And she brought chocolate from Italy. That's the best part. We've already eaten that. I made a snowball. Um, so yeah, I'm making like a Mediterranean salad. My mom's making spaghetti and I'll make tea. We'll probably find some old bread in the freezer and yeah, and just butter it up and put some garlic and garlic salt on it and then we got a meal. So, got ABA starting at 4.30. Jude should be home in about 30 minutes or so. So yeah, we've had and a good Kevin day. And Kevin is going to be here. And Kevin is coming. That's right. Well, so, look, I'm making We love Kevin. I'm making it. I'm going to make frozen over here. You're making frozen over there? Yeah, That's I'm awesome. I'm trying. So yeah, we'll um, keep you posted on any exciting things happening here. So I want to give some shout outs to some people who are watching the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching. Sometimes I think it's funny that y'all are entertained by us because I'm like, we're not that interesting, are we? No. Uh, I mean, actually, we've been saying that for a long time. We should have a reality show because this is a crazy place here. And we should at least get some credit for it now for our craziness. Um, L. Cochran. How you doing, L? Your Aunt Annie told me that you watch every single day, and so just want to say hey to you, and I think you have beautiful, beautiful red hair. Yes, she does. And I think that you're going to do really big things for God one day. Can't wait to see that. Um, and Hazel wants to say hi to you. You want to say hi to Elle? Is that Elle's pajama? No, Elle is your friend, you know, with red hair that's Aunt Annie's niece that comes to play sometimes. Mm -hmm. She watches the vlog. You want to say hi to her? Say hi, Elle. She'll love hi. You. Yeah, she'll love to hear you say hi to her. Say hi, Elle. Hi, Elle. Yeah, she'll like that. Um, and say hey to Amanda Sherman and her family that we saw today at, um, McAllister's and they said that they like to watch the vlog so thank y'all for watching and thank you for fostering you guys are my heroes and um, John and I hope to one day foster to adopt and um, we'll see how God opens up that door uh, we were on our way to do that a few times in our life and first time God shut the door I got pregnant with Hazel so we put the brakes on that and then second time we tried to adopt, um, God called us to move home. And so uh, we've been living with my parents. And so you can't adopt if you don't have a house. So <laughs> um, hopefully when we get our house finished and get kind of settled in, then the Lord may open that door for us. Uh, but thank you, Sherman family, for fostering and yeah, just being I awesome people. Family. And we got to see the Waltons today and all their beautiful children. And a shout out to Lainey uh, Walton, who says that she likes to listen to my CD every night. She said it puts her to sleep. <laughs> Which, that's, that's very sweet, Lainey. So, 
I was so glad I got to see all those awesome people today at McAllister's. Y'all made our time at McAllister's really sweet. Um, so yeah, seems like there's somebody else I was gonna give a shout out to, and I can't remember. Oh, Kay Hopkins watches, yeah. Kay, you're awesome. You know what's uh, funny is I ran into your husband as I was vlogging, <laughs> um, walking out of um, Walmart one day. I had my camera up and I was like, hey, how are you? <laughs> so, anyway. Um, oh. This is an English cucumber. I think that's what it's called. Somebody told me it was an English cucumber a long time ago. And we started buying these, I don't know, a few years ago. They're really good. They're uh, kind of the next best thing to garden cucumbers. Um, and you can eat the skin because the skin is soft. So we love to buy these. We buy them at Sam's. They come in packages of three. And they're really good in salads. And then we also make a thing called goulash, which we will do a little vlog on that probably later on down the road but we dice up uh, tomatoes onions cucumbers and jalapeno peppers and then we just totally cover it in vinegar and then we put sugar in there sometimes we'll season it up when Jess makes it he puts all kinds of seasonings in it and makes it really really good he'll put a little I think sometimes dill we'll put in there and um, I'll, I'll sprinkle a little bit of Lowry's seasoned salt just kind of plain. Um, anyway, so with the goulash, we um, we water it down just a little bit with um, water, but really not much because our whole family has this insatiable craving for really sour stuff. So we've all trained ourselves to really like it. <laughs> so you water it down here, you you want to weaken it as much as you want to weaken it, and then we'll put, we might put a little bit of salt in there. But it's just really good. You just kind of eat it with a spoon with however much of the liquid that you want on it. We serve it like in just little bowls, like kind of hot sauce bowls. We'll eat it with like, what kind of meals? Like vegetable meals or like lunch meals with like sandwiches. I mean, we would do it with this meal tonight with spaghetti. If I have time, I'll make me up some. And uh, what we've learned to do is like, when you make like a big salad and you put it on your plate, you can scoop up some of that goulash and just drain kind of the liquid and just dump it on top of your salad. And like, especially if you use like a ranch and then you dump that goulash on top of it, it kind of turns it into a creamy Italian um, taste slash dressing. It's really good. Um, but there's no specific recipe for it. It's just, you just, like what I said, you just kind of do it as you, as you like. Um, yeah, but I'm going to make this Mediterranean type salad. I'm going to do onions, <laughs> which those onions are 10 15s. And we got them at Walmart, I think. <clears throat> and they're very good right now. They're sweet. They're not hot. Um, so I put a lot of onion in there and then a lot of cucumber. And I'm going to put these fresh olives. Let's say fresh. <clears throat> they're in a can. Uh, California green ripe. Olives, Lindsay Naturals. My mom just tasted them. She said they're really good. All it has is water and sea salt. Nothing else is what it says. So we'll dice up some of those, put those in there. <laughs> and if I had my little cherub tomatoes that we really love to get, I would put tons of those in there, but I don't have any, so that's sad. Um, we'll have to go to Sam's tomorrow and get some more. And um, then I'm going to probably sprinkle some Cavender seasoning on there. It's Greek seasoning. <laughs> And um, yeah, so it should be really good. Yeah. My mom brought back fresh Parmesan Yes. Uh, from Italy. I'm looking forward to trying it. And yes. it's very, very good. I just tried some. So we're grating it. I'm gonna put that in the salad and I'm sure have some with um, spaghetti. And now we're making a tent for Elsa. And look how she's hiding in there. Really? Why is, why, is, why is Elsa hiding in a tent? Because you can't see her. Oh, but why is she hiding in there? Because who doesn't want y'all to get in there with her? Oh. She wants to be alone? Yeah. Nobody wants to be alone. Who says that? Elsa. Anna. Remember when Kristoff says, maybe she wants to be alone. Nobody wants to be alone. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, Kevin's here. And oh. we're doing our pasta. Are you serious? Awesome. Pasta from Italy. Can't wait to try that. From Napoli. How do you say it? It's not it Napoli. Napoli. I don't know. Napoli. We'll okay. See. Yeah. Thought we'd let you in on a little of this so sorry song. To that oh yeah, and Andy says he says Napoli on there. Oh, he does. Oh. Cool. So my mom says I'm the salad queen, so I'll give you a few pointers on making a salad. The key to making a good salad is always put more toppings on your salad than your eyes think that they need. Um, so, because sometimes you can just spill up the top and think, oh, that's plenty. But you got to remember that when you start tossing the salad, that stuff's going to get lost in there. So I always put way more toppings on the salad than it looks like I really need. And I'm normally never uh, disappointed in that. So we've got fresh Parmesan, which I know it looks like a lot, but when you mix it in there, it's going to be really good. A whole can of olives, and I've got, I think, an entire English cucumber in there. Um, and I only have a little bit of yellow pepper, so I put that in there. Um, and I put a lot of that onion in there because it's sweet. And um, it's got a really good flavor. So it should be good. My mom made a little Italian dressing. And we didn't sweeten it a whole, whole lot like we normally do. Um, because um, we, uh, <laughs> sorry. Hey, uh, Elsa and Kristoff, what are y'all doing over there? Just kind of hanging out? Getting kind of cozy. <laughs> oh man, our naked Barbies. We need to put some clothes on those Barbies. Um, yeah, it's getting PG 13 over there. Um, there's Mr. Crawley. Hey, Todd, show everybody your new haircut. Big haircut. Yes. Hey. Um, hey, good job on your haircut. Come show them. You're doing the tuck and scoot like Hazel did. Yeah, baby. Today, Elsa go to the hair salon. She did. Well, let's see what they did for her. Wow. They did, they did a really good job with her hair. Yeah. That's the best, I mean, that they've ever done there. What, what kind of um, style do you call that? Long and blonde golden hair style. Oh, yeah. I like that. That's really great. Tadis is attacking. This is why we call him Baby Monster, y'all. He, he definitely earned this title. Hey, he attacks the dolls when we're trying to play. He's Baby Monster. Y'all like his hair? I do. He's got his summer cut. Tadis, you're going to be walking any day. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yeah. I know. Wow. Hazel said that Kristoff and Elsa and Anna are having a frozen party. <laughs> well, well, well. This is the funnest therapy, most fun therapy Jude has ever had. Kevin's outside playing. Oh, Titus is taking a dip. <laughs> Not his first dip. Oh, it's not his first dip. Not first dip today. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, he would. Jude, are you happy? That's a happy boy. Oh, watch out for the boys. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. <laughs> Tadis turns one on Friday. I just it just hit me what um, we need to do is have a little make ice cream outside party for him. Yep. You approve? Okay, okay, water. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. 
do not want to get wet. Woo! You're going to be right in the middle of things this summer. Uh-uh, Hazel! That is my mini-me right there. Exactly what I would have been doing. Oh, gosh! Yeah, he's got this thing that's sticking his face in the water. Yeah! It's hilarious when he does it when we have bath bubbles. Because he's like bubbles all over his face when he comes up out of the water. Oh, wow. A blanket of water. Oh, yeah. Jude, you got a water buddy. Bathtub. I just keep all about it. Hey. I'm gonna get in. <laughs> All right, here goes Big T. <laughs> Guys, are you sure you're old enough for that, buddy? What? I'm getting a drink. Hazel, let him let him go, babe. Oh, you all right? Okay. Titus, Titus is all right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got my water. You want Kevin, dude? Okay. I know you like Kevin, don't you? He's, he's a good guy. He's a good, he's a good guy. You did. You got your whole body. Oh, Titus got his whole body cold. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh buddy. Oh buddy. Oh yeah. Boy, this is redneck. If it couldn't get any better, get a scooter. Titus is not phased by the water. What is it? <laughs> cool. Whoa! Nope. Just for everybody out there uh, concerned about the environment, this is well water. Daddy, are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. This is well water, and so um, <laughs> I don't feel very bad about wasting it. Daddy, look! What? Look, right oh, are you making a turn? Yeah. Good job. Look at that. Secondly, how you process loss will determine the trajectory.